The Next.js 13 app router is now stable and you're able to use a route to create a GraphQL endpoint. Previously, you've had to use GraphQL Yoga inside of an API route. Today, we'll use the app router with the GraphQL and GraphQL Yoga dependencies to create a slash GraphQL API. Inside of the app directory, create the folder GraphQL in the file route.ts. Inside of here, we'll need to import GraphQL Yoga, create a Yoga server, and export that as get and post. The GraphQL endpoint we'll use will be slash GraphQL, and we'll pass in a schema. We'll also need to export get and post options here, and we can destructure from yoga handle request and pass that along to both. GraphQL Yoga will take care of showing graphical and responding to GraphQL post requests. Now let's create a schema using create schema from yoga. We'll pass in some type definitions and a resolver that mocks a response. Lastly, we'll need to update the create yoga function to take in the fetch API from next. So here we'll pass along request as request and response as response. Now, if you run the Next.js development server and we head to localhost 3000, we'll see the default Next.js page. If we go to slash GraphQL, we'll then have graphical where we can browse the schema that we've just created inside of our code. And we can execute a GraphQL query here that we mocked a response for inside of our code. Once we run this, Next and Yoga will handle the response accordingly using the app router. We'll explore using other features of Next.js and GraphQL in another video.